Steven, if you were sitting over here, I would tell you, this changes everything. Jared pulling Frono's photo. Dot com and it looks like Canon did the same exact thing that Nikon did last night by not telling us they had an announcement coming because I guess they were trying to fight leaks. So that's why I'm sitting here at 11.13 in the PM to give you this development announcement about the Canon EOS R5. It is official. Now there's not a ton of specs that they gave us, so we're gonna talk about the leaked specs, some of those things, as well as what Canon put in their press release for the development announcement. But the first thing that I will tell you right off the bat is that this, this changes everything, in my opinion, because this seems to be better than what a 5D is. It seems to fall higher than a 5D, though we don't know what the image sensor is just yet. This is what we do know, is that there's a newly developed full frame CMOS sensor with IBIS. This is the first Canon camera ever to offer IBIS. When you, when you put it in combination with the image stabilization of their lenses, in combination with IBIS in the body, you're gonna be hand holding at shutter speeds that you would have never been able to do before. But remember that if a subject is moving and you're shooting at super slow shutter speeds handheld, it's still gonna get motion blur. So IBIS is a big deal. All newly developed sensor. Is it a 45 megapixel sensor? I don't know, but the rumor site says in bold that they think that bold means fact, that 45 megapixels is what the sensor size would be. Now, I think I believe the leaked specs because as I surmised a few weeks ago, I think that something came from internal, inside of Canon. That's the only reason why this stuff would basically be confirmed is if it came in from Canon, I don't know if that was Canon around the world or where it happened, but it happened, so 45 megapixels. There is also a new image processor, and that's important because they're saying that this camera, Canon says, not even they're saying, Canon says it shoots at 12 frames per second with the mechanical and 20 frames per second silent. The A92 right here shoots 20 frames a second silent in, uh, what it does is it does uh, a, a compressed RAW, You've got 20 frames a second right here with the 1DX Mark III when the mirror is flipped up out of the way. And the mechanical shutter, that's insane that that thing can do that. But 20 frames per second in a 5D style camera, is it gonna be dumbed down at all? Will you still be shooting full res raw or will it compress it? Will it do something different? How will Canon find a way to hinder it if they find a way to hinder it? Will the 12 frames per second with the mechanical work the same way as the five, uh, sorry, as the EOS R, which when you take pictures is kind of, it puts an image up there as a delay. So there's, it says it's blackout free, but there's technically a blackout that's being hidden by a split second of an image, which creates some herky jerky effect. And it's not smooth when you're shooting. Did they fix that? I venture to say, yes, they probably did fix that. One thing they are verifying is that it will have 8K video recording. It didn't go deeper than that, but it will have 8K recording. Even if they have a crop on that, expect a crop in my opinion, even if they have a crop, at least it's doing 8K. That is super interesting. And the rumor site is saying that it will do 4K at 120 frames per second. Will it do 4K full frame, full sensor readout? That's gonna be interesting as well. That wasn't in the development announcement, but 8K was. What was also in the announcement was a dual card slot or dual card slots. There will be two card slots. Will it be CF Express and SD? Will it be two SD? Will it be two CF Express cards? Personally, I would like to see two CF Express card slots. I would settle for one and an SD. Would I be upset if it had two SD card slots? A little bit, because if it's shooting at 20 frames per second and doing 8K video, you're going to need at least one card slot to be super fast like CF Express offers you. So hopefully Canon went ahead and did that. In terms of the body, it looks very similar to the EOS R. Now Canon USA didn't give us a lot of pictures, they gave us one. We noticed that Canon Europe has a different picture which is straight on, but it looks very similar to the EOS R. 
Will it have a grip? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, yes, it's probably going to have a grip. And that's very important in the camera world as we know that Nikon doesn't offer you a grip on the Z6 or the Z7. Let me cut in here real quick and let you know that I am giving away a camera during the super huge mega camera giveaway. Right now you can head over to bit.ly slash megafro2020 to get entered for your chance to win a camera valued up to $3,499 or lenses of the same value. Now this is completely free to enter, but you can get bonus entries if you purchase Fro Pack 1 or Fro Pack 2, which are our custom Lightroom presets. If you already purchased them, you will be entered with the email address that you use to make that purchase. So head on over to bit.ly slash megafro2020 right now to take advantage of this and get your chance to win. And there is no purchase necessary in order to win this contest. Canon also said that there will be seven new RF lenses including a 1.4x teleconverter as well as a 2x extender and a newly developed L lens, which is a 100 to 500 millimeter with a caveat. It's 4.5 to 7.1, but it is an LIS USM. Uh, that makes the Sony 200 to 600, which goes to 6.3 at the uh, tail end, look even better because I'd rather have 200 to 600 than 100 to 500. I'd rather have longer reach, but it looks like it's gonna be a super small lens. If it's super small and super light, we don't know the price on it, but 100 to 500 is an extreme range. Just think about it, at 7.1, it's not gonna be an, a lens that you're gonna use inside. Um, so the rumor site looks like it got just about everything right. Canon says, well, that we know so far that we can verify. Canon says that they will be showing this at WPPI at, at the end of February, or that's coming up in a couple weeks. I doubt anybody will get hands on with it. The rumor site is stating that it will come out in July. So it looks like a summer release. Th this is exciting for more than just Canon shooters. This is exciting because it should kick Nikon in the ass somehow, uh, and it should kick Sony in the ass because I have a Sony video coming out in a week, probably about a week, that is a pretty good video that's a warning to Sony. I'll just leave that at that for right now, but that is on its way. But Canon revolutionized the world with the 5D and the 5D Mark II that introduced HD video back when that came out. If this is a 45 megapixel camera that can shoot 12 frames a second or 20 frames per second and move those files over to a CF Express card, that is absolutely mind blowing. Can it do great ISO capability? We will have to wait and see. Will it have IAF? Absolutely, it's gonna take it, it's, it's, it's almost like a 1DX Mark III just in a smaller body and fully mirrorless. It's interesting because if it does 12 frames a second or 20 frames a second silent, it could outdo this camera right off the rip. And you have all the RF lenses, which it looks like they're gonna start to release the crappier RF lenses now that they've put out the really good ones. Now, one thing I forgot to talk about is what is the price? Now, Canon did not include what the price might be, but if this is a 5D style camera, I think it will come out around $3,499, which is not a lot of money when you consider what you are getting with the specs so far of this camera. 8K shooting, 12 frames a second, 20 frames silent, two card slots, IBIS, $34.99 would be the right price and I think well worth it for this camera. This is exciting. This has, this does change everything. This shows you that Canon was listening. They actually said it in their press release that Canon listened to a bunch of photographers and I'm gonna take some credit for that because I gave a lot of feedback and he even gave feedback two years ago when we were in Hawaii and was asked, we were asked by Canon execs, should they come out with a 5D Mark V DSLR? And I said, no. I will also point out that I've been saying that Canon is the sleeper of the bunch. They are the sleeper of the bunch, no more. This is real. 8K, 12 frames a second, 20 frames per second, silent. The rumor site has some interesting specs, IBIS, this is huge. What do you guys think about this? Leave some comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Jared, polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.